Hello and welcome to Advantage One RV, everybody. My name is Josh, the RV nerd. And even if you're not looking for one of these, watch this video. These things are, they're fun. And I tell you what, it is way bigger inside than you would have thought. 2230 pound A-Liner Expedition. This is one of their bigger models. Big old d -d 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 double dormer giving you maximum space and a little hideaway half bath for those Taco Tuesday emergencies. Man, this one, between the surprisingly tall ceiling and the surprisingly tall double dormer, especially the front dormer, it it looks and feels big in here. Not to mention the really light but contrasting color palette they have in here. Between like the, uh, the fabrics and the wood tones, it opens it right up. It gives it a nice, light, bright, welcoming, spacious kind of feel, you know? And you're probably noticing that uh, something is going on below the uh, countertop there. If we flip that up and get that out of the way, you see that there's just a general cabinet down there, but also your little toilet. Um, the idea being that it's there when you need it, gone when you don't. This is, I think, a good single person camper or, you know, potentially family, small camper, whatever. Understanding that, hey, sometimes one of us is going to have to use the bathroom in the middle of the night when it's raining. We're not going to be able to get up to the, uh, the, the, the park uh, facilities if that's where you're camping and what you're planning on doing or you can just make sure that you're camping in a place maybe you make sure you get a campsite right next to the facilities and you never use the uh, cassette toilet there it just all kind of depends now up top here you see you've got that 12 volt vent fan uh, and like these bigger side windows do slide open you can get some pretty impressive airflow swinging through this thing now between like when the kitchen counter stuff is all folded down you got the table up there and when these are folded down it actually has a lot of countertop space. I think this has more countertop space than any other A-frame I've ever seen. And we're a dealer of Rockwood A-frames. I'm personal. I'm very partial to those, but this is very sharp. I, under, I I like a lot of the things that are going on here. They're a little bit bigger in some areas. These generally run a little bit more money than a Rockwood, but there's also some things they're doing that Rockwood isn't. They each have little things the other doesn't, but this is all about this one right here. Like this, this can fold down into a sleeper if need be, if you need the extra space there. Um, speaking of the uh, kitchen, let's go ahead and start right here. Open all that up so you can see everything. I noticed on the stovetop lid, one of the screws that attaches that glass, uh, tempered glass lid to the, uh, the, the housing or whatever you want to call it, I noticed that was missing. So it is actually missing a screw. I just, I guess, want you to be aware of that. It does have a propane furnace. That is actually our air conditioner back there. And then this rear open sofa living space. Let me just back up because first of all, this <laughs> little camper, it has some really big, I think, looks and feels. And if what you're looking for is views of your destination, I mean, come on guys, that's just our tree line, but you can imagine what that would look like on a campsite, even just that little visual. I mean, this is, you can really get out and have a nice comfortable environment right here and still kind of be in touch with nature a little bit still feel like you're camping not glamping you know a lot of what you see in the rv marketplace do a lot of the videos that we normally put out they're very glamp focused this is still very camp focused i think by the way there is storage down there uh you see that little drop down door and in case you hadn't figured it out voila that thing folds right down into a sleeping space right there so if you need yourself a big bed at night if you do need room for two you got it although one of the things that I kind of thought about this, if you just get those two cushions off and out of the way, maybe at night you just set them over here on the countertop, that bench right there, that is plenty enough for a single person. Actually, why am I just describing it? Give me just a second. There, that's all I'm talking about. You can just get one or two of the cushions out of the way, and that's a fine single person sleeper without even needing to worry about sliding the whole base open to make the whole bed at night. And it's kind of funny, when this one's all set up, it, it, you can't really tell if it's coming or going. And you'll see what I mean when I get to the back here. It, it almost looks like it has two fronts, especially with, with the way that the general pyramidal-ish design is, for the most part, very symmetrical. Now, uh, it is a cassette-style toilet, which I know a lot of people like, so they don't have to go hauling the whole camper up to the dump station or something like that. You know, you don't got to necessarily wait for the honey wagon to come around, which I've always thought is a very kind way to phrase that. Under the dinette, you can see, well, both dinettes, actually, there is some uh, storage there. A couple wheel chocks, compliments to the previous owners. One of the things that 
always kind of stuck out at me on these A-frames is I, I've always kind of called them mutants, and I mean that <laughs> in nice terms, or I don't want to call them hybrids because hybrid in the camping world means something else. This, I don't like to call this a pop-up camper, even though technically speaking, it is a pop-up folding camper. Some places call them fold downs. It does seem to vary regionally. I get that that's what it is in technicality, but to me, this is a suitcase travel trailer. This is a full travel trailer camper that folds up into something a little more suitcased in size. A little simple side mount solar prep plug right there. Let me get you up close to the tires. These are Goodyear Endurance radials, by the way, 14 inch wheels. Um, that means these are rated for up to 87 miles per hour. A little outdoor uh, hot cold camp utility shower, even coax hookups if you're at a place that has a uh, park uh cable which is <laughs> pretty cool kind of cool now you see the gas struts all over the place looks like spider-man webbed the place up or something like that those are high wind assist and setup struts to help make the uh, the, the lifting and the lowering and the, the the whole process of putting it up and down a lot easier and even with the double dormer it, it's it's hilarious how simple and easy it is to set one of these up as compared to a traditional tent camper i tell you what if you really want to any any um, married couples to be any any engaged couples out there if you want to see are you going to make it until death do us part I want you to do one of two things first I either want you to a try to use a computer with slow internet and not yell at each other oh that's a good test secondly set up a pop-up uh, tent camper and if you can do so without having issues then you're gonna make it that being said, never attempt home improvement projects together. That's a surefire way to land up in the divorce office. Like I said, what do you think? Way more room inside than you would have thought about something like this. Now, over the years, I've seen multiple A-liners come through the pre-owned market. This is easily, hands down, the best kept one in the best shape that I've ever seen. And absolutely no exaggeration to that. Strike me if I'm lying, you know? It, it, this is in fantastic shape. You're not inheriting someone else's lack of upkeep or problems or smells or anything like that. Just a great little camper. These are awesome. Like if you've got, you want to keep it parked in a garage because you live in a in an HOA and the homeowners association always has the 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 homeowner jerk telling you where you can park your stuff and where you can't. This is a good little thing to keep squirreled away, but still have like a little escape pod to get away when you want. Or those little way off the beaten path kind of things, or there's low hanging tree branches you got to weave it through spots. Or frankly, you just don't want to tow something large or have a limited tow vehicle because not everybody needs a 45 foot fifth wheel. This is this is big bang in a small package. She looks good to you. Give us a call. Uh, if you haven't done so already, please take a second to hit the like button on the video if you appreciate what we share here. Subscribe and follow along to us. And when you're ready, we're ready. So take care, stay safe, have fun, and have an A1 day, everyone.